hi and welcome to my channel Dex Lassinger uh, showing you how to get rid of highlights in Affinity Photo not Photoshop Affinity Photo okay the easiest way to do this is to create a pixel layer I generally change this to average in Photoshop tutorials about this, a lot of people change it to darken. Uh, so I'll leave it on darken and we'll, we'll compare the difference. The next thing to do is to select a bit of the flesh tone. So we click on the colour picker tool. And I'm going to click an area just outside of the shininess, probably here um, where it's a little bit darker. The radius for the picker tool I've chosen as 65 by 65 because this is a fairly high resolution image that was downloaded from Pixabay and uploaded by, I think we'll abbreviate that, to Gromo. So thank you very much, Gromo. Uh, okay, back to the tutorial. We select the colour, uh, so we click on an area there and then we click on this and we put it into this left hand side one which is the stroke I think so we'll click on that we select the brush tool make sure the brush is down to zero hardness flow and opacity can be at 100% um, adjust your brush size to suit I'm pressing the square brackets or the squiggly bracket keys here uh, just to adjust the size um, and then just start painting on the uh, pixel tool on the pixel layer uh, okay so we start brushing uh, I know it looks a bit yuck at the moment but with darken we can adjust the opacity and it does actually look a lot better so glossy 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 get rid of that bit there Okay, so with darken, you adjust the opacity and drop it down a bit, and well, actually quite a lot, <laughs> and you can see the difference. Or you can move it up to a hundred percent. Go for average. Well, that's pretty much straight out of the box, but you don't have to adjust the opacity as much. So maybe sixty, seventy percent something like that and I think that actually looks better than the darken blend mode so that's it and that's as easy as it is